Hi guys, welcome to the Cow Whispers Creative Cards. I'm Michelle Wright and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. It's Monday, so we're doing clean and simple. And I came up with this card. It's so funny, don't you love it when you're working on something and then another idea pops into your head? We're going to be using the Snowflake Sentiment stamp set. And in the card that I created, it's I used the Seasons Greeting but the one that we're going to create is going to say wrapped in the warmth of Christmas because I used the cable knit 3D dynamic uh, embossing folder. And these are extremely thick and you run them through your big shot just a little bit different. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But don't you love this combination? This is the Be Merry Christmas with the little mittens all around it. And all I did was on the back, put the card stock that I'd run through the cable net, popped up season's greeting. I mean, does it get any cleaner or simpler than that? I don't think so. So, let's get started here real quick. We'll set this aside. I'm going to put this over here so you can see it. Set our stamp set aside. Actually, let's move that. Right off the bat, <clears throat> let me tell you, as always, in the top and the eye... And in the bottom in the description will be a link directly back to this card on my blog with all the supplies and the measurements. You can also purchase anything I used in this video by jumping down in the description field and clicking on the link for the item and it will take you directly to my store. So this one we used Cherry Cobbler and the Be Merry specialty, uh, or the Be Merry designer series paper. We're going to do Whisper White here, Night of Navy. And this is the beautiful Year of Cheer designer series paper, and it it sparkles. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it's gorgeous. Okay, so we're going to use that. And then I've got a scrap piece of Whisper White. So before we do anything else, let's just go ahead, bring in our Knight of Navy. And let's ink up. Our Wrapped in the Warmth of Christmas. I thought that was so fitting with that cable knit embossing folder. Yeah, I was pretty proud of myself for that. I got to admit it. Okay, so let's get a good impression. Hold that down for just a second. Let it absorb into that Whisper White. Ooh, love it. All right. So we're going to set that aside for now. Let me move this stuff out of the way. So let me move our card. We're going to do two things. First off, bringing in my big shot so you can see it and I need to determine this sentiment is just a wee bit smaller than the other one so let's see what we're going to use we're using our layering ovals and remember when you buy the layering ovals circles or squares they come with both the regular ovals and the scalloped ovals I have them on two different magnetic platforms here but that's all one set when you purchase it so I'm going to need to look to see which one I think is going to work the best for this one that's the fourth from the top let's see let's do that that's the fifth from the top okay fifth from the largest I should say and then, so let's go down one, two, three. Let's see. I want a large enough hole. So that's going to be the third on the scallop. So, all right, we've determined which ones we want here. So we're going to run that through with our magnetic platform. And then we've got, I'm just making sure I've got it good lined up. Plate on the bottom, plate on the top. That's all that took. Pretty simple. So we have that done. Now, let me go ahead while I have my big shot here. And I'm going to grab my multi-purpose platform here. Okay. And what I'm going to do here first, let's just go ahead and put our plate down I want to center this up oops wrong one 
Let's get our scallop. I want to center this up because I want all that to show. I want it to look like it's snow. Let's see. It looks pretty straight to me. You know what? What am I thinking? What am I thinking? I need my magnetic platform for that too. Brain freeze for just a moment. All under control though. Let's get it lined up good and straight. That's good. Now let's run it through. Okay. And what I was doing earlier was I was doing the oval for my backer, but then when I saw the opening, I loved it. So all right, I've got that done. Now we're done with our laying ovals. So let's get those out of the way. I will definitely save this beautiful piece to use on a future card. Now let's get our platform out of the way, our magnetic platform. Okay, now because these three D dynamic ones are thicker, you only need one of your acrylic plates. Remember that, you only need one. So I've got my Knight of Navy here. Go ahead, I want my sweater running up and down. I'm just gonna center that up in there. Run it straight, okay. So I'm putting it straight on my tab one, and then I'm putting one of my acrylic plates on it and just rolling it through all right that's it and there you go isn't it gorgeous cable knit mm, i love it all right you guys watch how fast this is going to come together let's put this over here got my card base which is whisper white Got my Knight of Navy out. I'm going to grab my Knight of Navy Dauber. My Knight of Navy ink. I'm just going to hit these edges. Remember, we're all about clean and simple today. And when I was playing around, trying to figure out what I wanted to do today, and I cut that opening, I was like, oh my gosh. Because I want you to be able to see as much of that cable knit as possible. I think that is so awesome. Okay. Well, as always, because this is 3D, I want to use my fast fuse, okay? So remember, you just want to light pressure. Whoops. Ran out. Story of my life. Story of my life, but that's good. That's okay. No worries. I'm gonna show you how quick it is to change these out. Let me get one of my refills. Here we go. Fast fuse refill. And remember, we're gonna have that deal coming back where you get to buy one new fast fuse and you get two refills free that's a rain check that'll be coming back in the future so don't forget about that look how fast i did that okay so here we go you you, you need something when with these thickly embossed cards that's going to hold it down snail i just i have a feeling it just wouldn't hold it well enough so i'm going to line that up Isn't it cute? Doing the same thing because I'm going on top of. So I still need that extra. I still need that extra mm, to hold on. And you see it sticking to my fingers. Some sticky, sticky stuff. All right. I'm just going to line this up. Kind of in the center. Oh, 
Oh, it's so cute. I can't stand it. All right, let's get some of our dimensionals. Flip this over. You know I already have everything off the back of them, and I'm not going to be chintzy with my dimensionals, okay? They're a penny. So let's get them popped up and make sure it stays on there. And I'm going to put it right here in the center. Oh, isn't it cute? Look at that. I love it. I love the cable knit embossing folder, the 3D embossing folder. So remember, I use the Snowflake Sentiments with the cable knit embossing folder. This one I use the uh, Be Merry Designer Series paper, and this one the Cheer Year of Cheer Designer Series paper. Cute and simple, simple, simple. If you guys live in the United States and you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. Uh, make sure you jump down into the uh, description field in the bottom. I've got my Facebook link there. You can follow me there. We're on Tuesday nights at 7 o'clock Central Time. I do Facebook Lives where we have a lot of fun, learn a little something, and I'm going to give a little something away every time. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Hope you have a wonderful day. Happy crafting.